Did you know that Winona State University's third president may have been among the first people to record an American voice? President Maury graduated from the Winona Normal School and went on to MIT. He returned to improve the science program and eventually serve as president from 1876 to 1879. While at MIT, Maury experimented with a device called the phonautograph. Invented in France in 1853, the phonautograph predated the phonograph. It could graphically record sound waves, but lacked the ability to play those sounds back. President Maury modified the apparatus to make the graphs more readily visible for interpretation. In August of 1874, Maury published his innovation in the American Journal of Science and the Arts, suggesting that the mechanism he describes will aid in the analysis of sound waves. The three phonautograms he included in the article are believed to be the first published effort to record a vowel in English and among the first recorded sounds in America. A Maury phonautograph was used by Alexander Graham Bell to record vowel sounds in the spring of 1874. Bell hypothesized that electrical currents might be generated to correspond to the sound waves Maury's machine transcribed and that those currents might also be turned back into sounds. This thinking eventually led to the invention of the telephone. In the last few years, researchers have used computers to scan, analyze, and convert phonograph recordings back into sounds. Here is one of the sounds Maury recorded more than three years before Edison developed the phonograph. It doesn't sound like much, but it is supposed to be the oo sound in the word mood. Development on the phonograph ended once Edison and others created machinery that could record and reproduce sounds. President Maury is now a footnote in audio history, but he was a key player in the history of early recording.